Well, this was a last minute surprise. I only finished my list yesterday. Dan uploaded it yesterday. Hey, I'm gonna get uh, one more movie to review. You will. You this shit. It will only be one hour. Well, I'm 40 minutes and it's left, left to the new year. So, let's take a look at the last, last, last minute notice to the list. Red notice. Tish. John Hart Hartley works for the FBI. I but gets a cute cue for Steve eating Cleopatra's third egg. Hey, how, however, for John knows he didn't do it. Do it and blames it on the bishop. Bishop, bishop, a, a criminal, criminal man, mastermind. I, I, John is is locked up with with his arch nemesis. It's it's no holy roof. If if so if and the two have to work together to to retrieve the fur. I'd, I'd add um, the re rest of the eggs bef before all the bishop does. Uh, so I've heard some pretty good things about this movie. Okay. And I was intrigued for it. Yeah. I thought I'd just time for them to wait till next year to watch it. But looks like I, might, I actually got to watch it before the year ended. Now that was lucky for me. Because I always want... And to to watch uh, these 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 movies these before the year ends, and at the end of the video I will say what number would be on the list. So let's get into my thought. I really like the cast that you decided to get. All the characters are really likable, but it's the voice, uh, but it's the actors that bring these characters to life. I uh, technically the actors are just playing themselves. With Dwayne Johnson being Dwayne Johnson, Ryan Reynolds being Ryan Reynolds, and Gal Gadot and, uh, being Gal Gadot. However, for undercover movies where that could be a problem, um, it uh, the actors being themselves actually they work up for the movie like this, especially with the characters they play. <laughs> this is mainly seen in in with the movie. Movies do well. Well, of John Hartley, Lee, and Nolan Goof. Ooh, two, two opposite. It's where uh, one is an FBI agent, and, and the uh, other is a world famous art thief. He, he, he's number two and wants to be at the top. Oh, they but both might have different personalities, but they're actually so be more similar than they think and actually grow, grow a fondness to each other as the future will progress as as the one they have have to get the eggs before or the villain comes is the bishop of the film almost antagonist if you will who is known as the world's greatest art thief and wants to do everything to be on top oh up to get all three eggs before I make it on the deal does. Not only is she a great villain, but she can be be that any manipulative and can offer a few twists and turns that can be quite unexpected. If I did have to have a problem with the, problem with the characters, is that well, I'm someone like Gal Gad that is able to, to handle those twists it, it's hard to really get into the twists with it's with Reynolds and Dwayne Johnson so so when they're, they're kind of just does so, so that like they know no, the twist it's too much I, I, well I'll get I, I'll try to, my best to make sure that the twist remains a secret but it's not done bad and I will respect it for that. Uh, it's just as if if uh, all of them pretend they didn't know about the twist, it it would have made the twist a little more surprising. See, now let's 
get on to the store. On the surface, this seems to seems like your your pretty glad buddy cop art movie with with two two people who people who are opposites from each other and must work together for on a high high speed. It's it's kind of a, a combination between a buddy movie and a heist movie. I'm sure it can can leave people mixed. Ex of what had to be led on this movie. On one hand, hands both both plots together do make the film feel kind of predictable, but as they are full of the cliches as the other movies do, do them, and, and it's easy to call, to call them out. On the other hand, however. But when and they're both put together in a film like this, it's actually quite engaging. It I'll admit it did take a while for the movie to get going. And it and it was hard to really get interested in the feature and the story it was trying to set up. Up uh, but I think it was worth waiting because as we because I got more more out of this than I could have expected. It, not only is, is the film um, Incredibly exciting every minute, with new twists and turns around each corner, but it all also has to keep the stakes high. And it does actually a pretty good job at it. It's making moments very surprising where you don't know what's going to happen next. It also tries its best to be a bit of a comedy and offers a view. I wouldn't say it's the funniest movie of the year, but I'd be lying if I say I didn't laugh at any of the jokes. When when they're funny, they're absolutely hilarious, offering some great gags. And and if you and you can actually find a moment, moments where and uh, you can really be invested in the joke. Oh, I want want it to keep going on and on. Uh, however, there is one highlight that I think. Ink is better than both of the characters and the stalk combined. And that, uh, that definitely is, is with the visuals. The scale of this movie is absolutely awesome. So, so around the each uh, so the characters go to many different places around the world. From Rome to London. Then into rush yeah. Yeah. Uh, and many more or oh, it gives enough t- time in uh, I'm in each play and in each country to be he can't quite invested it into in these types of characters so it's and cool and come and make the places to look Looks like they're on a very big scale. You're offering some really creative possibilities, and and making the places grander than they are in real life. As for the action scenes, not only are they the best elements of the of the visual, also and the movie be as a gen, but I think that these are the best action scenes of the year. It, each scene, scene can be quite intense and, and can lead you on the edge of your seat and the visuals ha- handle that in a perfect like, fashion and, and where you never know who's going to be more victorious or if the plans are going to work. Right, so overall, I'm glad that this ended up as a last minute in addition to, to my, my list of films for this year. Red Notice is... Is actually a awesome and an exciting movie. While it probably doesn't have the most original ideas, ears, it does make up for it with a strong story, re, um, amazing visuals, was, was and charming characters on top of of actors that do a great job of supplying the voices. It is. I'd say if you're a, a fan of action. Action movies that 
Cruise from both Dwayne Johnson and Ryan Reynolds, like Free Go I got Jungle Cruise, then you, and I then this will be an absolute must watch. Well you'll probably get the most out of it. And seeing as I, I like both of these actors, there's it's great to see the two friends come together in a great buddy cop movie. But that is a lot of fun. And I am worth giving an 8.5 out of 10. So where does this go? Oh, on the list, you might ask. I'd say hey, it just beats My Little Pony A New Generation and makes it onto number 13. Mm. You know the list. It's beating in, in a internet by a, by a tiny bit not by much but just a little bit well i'm finally done with videos for this year i hope you've enjoyed watching the watching all videos i offered this year i know i started off slow but i i did get uh, more bigger with my videos as the year went on especially with this month where i offer for for a grand and lot of some of my most videos in one month so i hope you enjoyed or the, the year feel free to comment like and subscribe and i will see you next year happy new year